Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Try This. Again, not a very fancy video. Um, however, I wanted to make this video to go over some of the Glenn Miller stuff that I have recently acquired, mainly from thrift stores like Goodwill and St. Vincent de Paul. And I know um, Recordology is a huge fan. He has a YouTube channel. He's a huge fan of Glenn Miller, and I told him I would take a look at this stuff and post a video on it, he probably is going to tell me, oh yeah, I've got that already. But I thought this Glenn Miller box set was really cool. I'm not really a big fan of Glenn Miller, but I do love everything, you know, during that time period, especially relating to like World War II. You can say, here's a CD on it. But let's take a look at the record set first. All right, so here is the record set, and you can see there's what's on this record set. It's in pretty good condition, I would think. And this is a collector's edition. Have to make note of that. That's sp spectacular. This is the Reader's Digest uh, version box set. And all the records come in these sleeves. And you can see the one, two, three, four, five, and six. If I pull one of these out, that's what the record jacket looks like, or the sleeve. These were actually in really good condition. And here we can get a look at the record. Let me flip to my other uh, camera because it's better quality. So there's another look at the box set cover, and here's the record itself. Yeah, these are in remarkable condition, almost like they've never been played. Here we have the Glenn Miller and his greatest hits and finest performances. This is on compact cassette. And I got these. This is also a Reader's Digest. I just noticed that. Huh. Anyways, I got this because usually I like to get, when I'm getting, you know, I don't have a lot from a, a certain artist. I like to get their greatest hits, especially if I'm not really familiar with them. But there you can see what's on it. Pull the tape out. And you can get a look at their side A. I guess this was part of a set because this says tape two. I just no also noticed that. And being Reader's Digest, that makes sense that it would be part of a set. Well, crap. Now that makes me really hate having just one. That's going to drive me nuts that I don't have the entire set. Well, maybe I'll be able to find them at some point, but there's that one. And then I also have Glenn Miller Super 10, also on compact cassette. This one is a black shell to the cassette. Not in as good a condition. You can see it's kind of wearing off the text. Wait, did that say... Okay, I thought it said Sears somewhere on there. I, my mind is going nuts right now, I guess. Anyway, those are the two cassettes that I have of Glenn Miller. And they do work perfectly. They're like kind of like new, actually. Let's take a look at the CDs now. This is Glenn Miller Pure Gold. There's what's on the disc itself. Has the RCA label. See if I can get this to open. There is the disc. You can see it's in really good condition, actually, for being from a thrift store. I don't really see any smudges or scratches. Let's see if this has anything interesting in this. I really haven't taken a look at these very much, but there you can see all the different CDs that you can get in the series.
And then the final one we have to go over is Glenn Miller and the Army Air Force Band. So this would be all of Glenn Miller's music. He was uh, well known for doing music during the World War II era, and he did all the big band swing music for the uh, the troops. And I believe he even did shows performing for the troops from time to time. Correct me if I'm wrong down in the comment section below, but this is the disc. Laser light digital. Huh, that's interesting. This was done in... When was this even? It doesn't say when this was made. At least I'm not seeing it. Anyway, here's a look at the disc, also in remarkable condition for being from a thrift store. And here's the back. Well, guys, I want to thank you for coming along and taking a look at this collection of Glenn Miller stuff that I have acquired. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, subscribe, uh, give the video a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you in another episode of Try This. Bye, everyone.